Hi, and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today, we'll be taking a look at how you can showcase items on your site using a combination of text and imagery. To help us do this, we have the Item Showcase widget from our key add-ons for Elementor plugin. Right now, we're on the page where you can see some examples of how this widget can be used and its possible stylization options. Some of these include different typography options, variations in icon use, color changes, and more. So let's take a look at how you can use the Item Showcase widget and customize it. Head over to the back end, and in the Elementor sidebar, search for Item Showcase. There it is. Now let's drag it over to the right. And this is how the Item Showcase looks by default. It has some placeholder content, this image in the middle, and the text on the sides, that we'll be replacing shortly. But first, we have the Layout option. It's set to standard by default, and that gets us this layout with icons above the text. The alternative setting is Side Icon. And if we switch to that one, the icon will be placed next to the title text, and it will be considerably larger. Still, there is a separate option for adjusting the icon size, but more on that later. For the design I have planned, I'm going to use standard. Okay, the next thing we can do is change the image for the product we're showcasing. I'll use this one. Insert media. Okay, there's my product image, so now I can focus on the text around it. And that's done here, using the items. By default, there are four of them. If you want to add more, just click on this Add Item button. And a new piece of text will appear on the right. So you can think of adding new items as stacking them from the bottom. Since I added this just as an example, I'll click here to remove it. Then I'll open the first item to start replacing content. For starters, we can pick whether we'll use an icon, a number, or nothing at all. If I pick No, then the icon will simply disappear and the title and text will move up to fill that space. However, you can also use a number. If you select that one, you'll get this field where you can enter the number itself. After that, we have the title field. That's for displaying this text here. To replace it, simply erase the placeholder content and type in your own. I'll just set something a bit different here. There. Below this, we have the text field, where we can replace this paragraph text. I'm going to change this too, and since I have a bit of typing to do, I'll just speed up the video until I'm done. Okay. And the last field in here is this one that lets us add a link. I'll set a hashtag as a placeholder just so I can show you. See? The link is set over the title, but it doesn't affect the accompanying text. Okay. I'll clear this and then start entering new content to the other three items. Since we just saw how that works, I'll skip ahead to the part where I'm done. And here we are. All my items are customized. So let's take a look at what other options we have. In the Appear Animation section, we have the option to enable Appear Animations. It's set to Yes by default. You can disable it, and I'll do that briefly so we can see how it looks when it's switched back on. There. The content of the item showcase seems to float up from below. Now, the section underneath this, Developer Tools, it contains only one option, which, if enabled, will display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode, like this. Okay, I'll put this back now. And this is it for the Content tab. Let's move on to the Style tab and see what we have in there. The top three options in this section are for styling the icon. Since I'm not using one, I'm going to skip these options. But if you kept your icon, you can use them to change its color, the color on hover, and the icon size. After these options, we have the title tag. With it, we can change the tag used for all the titles in the item showcase. Unlike the content tab where we have options separated by items, the things we set here will affect the entire element. So when I change the title tag to H5, all my titles are changed. Then we have the title color, where we can easily change the color of the title text. And title hover color. Any color you set here will be visible only on hover. OK. Next, we have the title typography options. With them, we can pick the font for our titles. 
Then we can change the size by using the slider or by typing in a new value. I'm going to set 21 pixels for mine. And using the weight option, we can change the font weight for the title. Then we have the transform option, which we can use to make our title uppercase, lowercase, capitalized, or keep it normal. And we have the style option, which we can use to change the text style. Following that, the decoration lets us add a line over, through, or under our text. Then the line height lets us adjust the height of the line with our text. So you can get more space if you need it. And the letter spacing option lets us create more space between letters. And that's it for the typography options. After that, we have a few options for styling the number. The first one lets us change its color. You can use the slider or set a hex code. I'll do the latter to make my numbers dark gray. Then we have a set of typography options for the numbers. They are the same as the typography options for the title, so I won't go over them again. I'll just set what I need. And that is the weight. There. Then we have a few options for the text. The first is the text color. So we can easily set some other color for the text. For mine, I'll put the same hex code I used for the numbers. Okay. And we also have the text typography options. Again, the selection of options in here is the same, so I'll quickly make the settings I need and then we can move on. I'll change the font family, there, and adjust the line height. And that's all. I can close these. Now, the next section is for the spacing style options. And the first one is for setting the image top offset. With this option, we can move the image up or down. A higher value means a bigger top offset, which means the image will be pushed down. A smaller or even negative value will push the image up. I'll set 15 pixels for my top offset. Then we have the image side margin, which lets us add more space to the sides of the image. I'm going to set 65 pixels for this. And we have the item space option. This one is for adding more space between the different text items. I'm going to set this one to... Hmm, 45 pixels. After that, we have the title margin bottom. With this, we can add more space under the title and separate it a bit from the text. I'll set 10 pixels for that. Finally, we have the icon number margin option. You can see when I start to increase the value, the number shifts as the space on all sides of it gets enlarged. Now you can increase the margin evenly all around, or you can click here to delink the fields and enter different values for each one. I'm happy keeping most of them at zero, but I'll add 13 pixels at the bottom to create a bit of space between the number and the title. We covered all the options offered by the item showcase widget. The last option, tab advanced, has several useful settings for positioning, responsiveness, entrance animations and more, but since it's available for all elemental widgets and not unique to our item showcase widget, we won't be covering it in this tutorial. So I'll just save my work since my element is finished. Alright. Now that that's done, we can take one last look at the widgets page. Having gone over the options in the back end, you should now know how to make any of these examples. You can use what you see here as designs to mirror for your site or just as inspiration. Alternatively, you can easily create something unique. You just need to decide which of the possibilities offered by the item showcase widget work best with the style and design of your site. I hope going through this together has helped you to see how easy making elements can be with the key add-ons for Elementor plugin and its item showcase widget. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thanks for watching.